Hello Year 2 students, my name is Ella and I am your teacher and we are up to lesson 23 I believe which is my favourite number, how wonderful. Okay here we go, what do we need today? We need our learning book, we need a collection of things, today I've got some toys in front of me, uh, we need a pack of cards, and we need our double charts. Now, remember making these back in week one? And we use these to help remember what our doubles were. Now, if you don't have yours, they're pretty quick to make. Let's remember, we folded, we folded, it was four folds, remember? Okay, and then we opened her up and we found we had a wonderful place to put our doubles. And this is a, a wonderful thing to remember. Four and four, eight, and a check. Great, six and six, 12, and a check. So we're getting much better at our doubles. Okay, so let's think about what we did last lesson. Quick recap, we had a look at bridging to 10. Uh, 10 is a great benchmark number. So we can have a look at those tricky um, uh, addition sentences like 9 and 6, 9 plus 6, we can turn that into a 10 plus 5 quite easily when we bridge and we know the answer is 15. Okay, so you had some great practice with that. I hope all your learning is in your learning book and I hope you've been able to share that with somebody. Okay, so let's start with a number talk. You guessed it, number plates. So let's have a quick look and think, we've got a tricky one here today. We've got a six plus a five plus a seven. Mm, okay, a six plus a five. Now we know how to bridge, we know how to look at um, our doubles. There's lots of different ways we can approach this number sentence. So have a think about how you might like to start that. Mm. I think I'm going to have a look at the first two. Remember I can do them in any order, it's commutative. I can do them in any order, but I think I'm going to have a look at these first two. I wonder if you did that as well. So the first two, six and a five, well I know that a five and a five is ten, so a five and a six probably make eleven. Okay, let's start with a bigger number and count up quickly. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. And isn't it perfect we've got our counting fingers ready to go as well. So I can see that I've got 11 here and I'm going to add a 7. Now I know that 1 and 7, 1 more than 7, is 8. So I think 11 and 7 is 18. 18 will be our answer. You may have done that a little bit differently. You might have put another 2 together. Or you might have had a look at the the start and the end. If your answer is 18 and you've done it in an efficient manner, you are a powerful mathematician. All right, let's have a look at our next number plate, which is three and two and seven. What do we think? Mm, if I saw this one passing by me on the street, I think I would quickly and efficiently Put which two numbers together. Mm. I, I like these two because I know that they're a pair of tens. I like those two. But you might have liked these two. Five. Five is an anchor number. I'm going to go with this way. Okay. I wonder what the answer is going to be. Can everybody see it? I can see it. Here's my ten. Here's my two. I have the answer of... 12. Have a think about a different way of doing that too. We might have put 5 together. We might have put 5 together. And 5 and 7. Mm, I'm going to start with my bigger number and count on. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, and the last one. Oh, this is a fun one. 6 plus 5 plus 0. I wonder if you have a car and you have a zero in your number plate because zero means none of these. And we've only got two numbers to add up now. All right, so what are those two numbers? 
Well, funny you ask, because this is what we might call a near double. We're just about to have a look at that. So I can see that six and five is also, a six is a five plus a one, isn't it? A six is a five plus one. So I might add five and five is 10 and add my one. I'm going to get to 11 and I'm going to get there quickly and efficiently because if this car was going past me very quickly, I'd have to be pretty efficient, wouldn't I? Okay, great number talk. Let's get to it. Today's learning intention is to use our double facts to help us solve addition problems. And we'll know that we can do that when we use our double facts to help solve addition with doubles or near double numbers. Okay, let's have a think about that. We should know our doubles or practice to know our doubles and we are going to have a look at something called near doubles as well. So first of all, let's have a look at what our doubles look like and we can look at them with our collections. So in front of me, I have five and five. Here are our doubles, five and five. Okay, great, we've made those. So let's think about what a near double might look like. So if I add another toy to this side, I now have almost a double or near a double. So let's have a look. Now I've got five, five and one. I've got five and six. And this is what we call a near double. So I know that five and five make 10. If I add another and say five and six, this is very close or near to my double. So I know it's one more than my double. Five and five make 10, but five and six, six will give me one more. One more than 10 is 11. Let's have another look at a near double. I'm going to have three on this side, three and three. Three and three is a double, three and three is six. And if I add another, so now I have four and three, I have a near double. Three and three make six, three and four, one more, makes one more than six, it makes seven. So I can see my doubles will help me get to my near doubles. All right, one more just in case. Let's go little. I've got two on this side and three here. Two and two, two and two, a double makes four. But if I add one more, two and three, two and three will give me a near double. It's two and two and the extra one. It will make five. So doubles help us get to our near doubles and it's an excellent strategy to use when I'm adding efficiently. Okay, let's get to our task. Okay, now let's have a look at that with our cards. So we'll pop our collections away. You can use them if you need to or you could use your double charts to remember. So let's use our cards purposefully this time. So we're gonna have a look at what we've got. We're not pulling them out. So let's have a look at a double. If I can get a seven and a seven. Let's start with a double seven. Okay, now I would like to make a near double. So I need to find another seven and then a near double. Hmm, I could take one more or one less. So let's have a think. I'm going to take that one as a double. All right, let's have a look. Here is my double and here is my near double. And I've made these sentences from my cards. So let's quickly write those down in our learning books. So today we're doing doubles, remembering what our doubles are as a number sentence, a seven and a seven, we can count on, we can check our double chart or we can draw, make it as a collection. Seven and seven, seven and seven, 
14. 14. 7 and 7 is 14, is my double. Now let's have a look at my near double that I've made here, a 7 and an 8. So 7 and 8, 7 and 8, hmm, we've got one more. It's a 7 and a 7 plus 1. I'll write that underneath here. It's a 7 and a 7 and a near double and 1. So I know that if 7 and 7 make 14, 7 and 8 will make one more. It will be 15. Here's my double and here's my near double. All right, so let's try another example. Remember, I'm going to use my cards for a purpose. So I'll be looking for in my pack some doubles, two of the same. So let's have a look at threes. I can find two threes and another three. Okay, what would be a near double to three and three? Three and four would be a near double. So let's have a look. I've got my number sentences in front of me. I've got a three plus three, which is my double which I should know just like that. Three and three, three and three is six. I'll check on my doubles chart, I was right. Three and three is six. And my near double underneath is three plus four. Three plus four. Now remember my strategy here, I knew it was close and that this eight is a seven plus one. I know that this four is a three plus one. So here we are, I'm close to a double, but I've added another. Three plus four is three, doubled plus one, three is seven. Here's my double, here's my near double. Now how many more can you make with your cards to make and write in your learning book? Remember, we're making a double and then a near double. Okay, let's see if you can fill up your page with those. Well done. We are getting so good at doing our doubles. They're just rolling off our tongues like that because we practice them, we, we, we make them, and we've got them written down. So on reflection, remember that Using our doubles facts helps us do addition. It helps us with doubles and near doubles. If we can see them, we can move through that number sentence very efficiently. So today's takeaway task is flipper. We can change flipper. We can play the flipper in lots of different ways. So today we're going to, I think you guessed it, practice our doubles. So let's do a few together. Here we go. Nine, double nine, eighteen. Double ten, twenty. Double six, twelve. If I'm not sure, I can look at my doubles chart. But I'm going to hide my doubles chart away until I need it. If I get to the larger numbers, let's have a look at a larger number in my pack. If I get to a larger number, I might like to use that as a 12. Remember, jack is 11, queen is 12, king is 13. I might like to use that as a 12 and make it a little bit trickier for myself, okay? So double 12, double 12 is 24. All right, so enjoy your game, Flipper. Go through your whole pack and keep practicing those doubles because we know it's a really efficient way to solve addition, strategy, addition sentences when you need it. Uh, and I will see you at our next lesson. Enjoy. Bye.